Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is do a read for you and who and who could be a friend or family member, a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, one side of a situation or another, uh, even a person of interest too. Now this will be a general read so if you are looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies go to The Guided Intuitive up here or in my description box below. All right uh, let's see what's in store for your second half of May. Wow, can't believe we're here. Uh, I'm thinking of all of you right now, hoping that you are home and safe and you're sound and you've got your health uh, and, uh, you know, really focusing on, uh, you know, you know whatever it is that's going to bring you joy uh, and, uh, you know, going through a lot of these changes. And with a lot of these changes brings a lot of transformations. It brings a lot of triumphs, but it also can bring a lot of tribulations as well. Uh, so uh, for those of you that are looking to, you know, to really reinvent themselves, maybe going through and, 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 and really working on yourself from the inside out and you know focusing on your life purpose that new business or in your love life overall uh, then you definitely want to book a discovery session up here it allows some one-on-one -on -one time together and allows us to make a recommendation and a particular program or package if it's a good fit all right so with that being said do check it out um, like I said it's complimentary and uh, let's jump into your read all right let's see what's going on for you here now this is gonna be where you're at right now okay this is gonna be where you're at right now in terms of uh, the relationship as of now for you okay Wow. Okay. So what we've got going on right now, Capricorn, it's been some sort of strife, some sort of struggle. Okay. Now the fives are really talking about adversity. So this is maybe some sort of tension or conflict in a relationship or a situation. Now the wands are that, that, uh, uh, fire energy as well. So you might be taking on this energy or you're just, you're feeling it because of the, of the situation. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, see what else wants to come about over here from the five of swords. Okay, so then I get the Sun card, which is really interesting from one almost extreme to another almost. Um, and, and this is telling me that now there, there's a lot more good vibes that are moving forward. This is saying that you're getting out of this energy, which is really, really beautiful. This is a major kind of card. So this is saying that, that you are really seeing the brighter side. You're focusing on your good vibrations and you're leaving this behind. So congratulations to those of you that are, because this is really cool. This is like feeling like your young, joyous self, you know, uh, as, uh, as a kid and uh, you know just kind of doing all that exploring and having fun um, having a lot of passion of life and just carrying those really good vibrations uh, and and that's what I see here so that's a major arcana card so this is interesting anything else about where you're at right now yeah this is about becoming the empress focusing on that yummy energy that real creative aspect of yourself right it's like a new birth now some of you could be pregnant um, some of you also could be a birthing of something new I remember I talked about the beginning it could be a new business it could be you know really focusing on yourself and getting coming back home to yourself and finding your life's purpose so if that's what you're interested in definitely hit um uh, definitely want to book a discovery session but this is really in your yummy empress energy so some of you this is about that great nurture right, of the world and and she really has this beautiful energy people are attracted to her uh you know she likes nice things uh but she takes good care of them and uh you know she's just really um, it's all about birthing of something new and extremely creative. Okay. So that's what I see two major arcana cards there. So this is really, really beautiful. Uh, anything else? What is, what was kept in keeping you in strife? Yeah. I, I think in the past, maybe that, uh, your brilliance shown through to get out of this type of competition or this strife that was there, uh, because I get brilliance, right. And, and, and there's nothing that can become of that. I mean, it's so beautiful. There's a lot of brilliance in these cards here. And this is saying you're going to be getting a lot of downloads on ideas, okay? Especially when you're in these good vibrations here. Um, you're getting a download of lots of ideas. And this is saying to choose which ones that are really going to work for you. So there's a lot of ideas that are flowing through you. Your brilliance is really shining through right now. So this is a, a fertile time for you to really choose a way that you would like to move to. Maybe that next project. Maybe it's a particular job. Uh, maybe it's how you're going to make that next move in terms of a relationship. Their brilliance is shining through so this is this is nice okay uh let's take a look at your feelings right now where are you at in terms of your feelings right now what does that look like nine of pentacles okay so this is that earth energy uh, it's about moving slow perhaps uh, in terms of uh, a situation or a relationship uh, perhaps you are looking to move a lot slower Excuse me, guys. I don't know why. Um, I, I, all of a sudden, a yawn came out. It's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> I 
maybe a lot of you are getting very bored with something because it's not coming through as fast as you'd like or you'd like to move forward a lot faster but but the interesting thing is that slow and steady can win the race here okay and that's what this is talking about so uh it's funny um yeah so that's what this is saying is that that pinnacle is just there could be an opportunity that's coming your way because the nights are about motion this could be you moving slowly in the direction of where you want to go to right you know kind of getting that strong foundation because this is a solid foundation a solid opportunity it could have taken a long time but it's coming through and that's exactly what i see here nice nice so your feelings are that things are are kind of moving a lot more slower than maybe perhaps that you would like them to be or that you truly want them to be slower okay and it might have to do with an emperor okay this is a major con uh, a con card this is about structure and solidity uh this is about someone that is uh you know that really kind of takes you know kind of control that's really a uh, strong and and uh you know processes uh you know kind of like that that male energy uh that that and that's what i feel i feel that's what i see here um and and what i what i what's interesting is that it might be that you're kind of taking control of your life taking more control of your relationship in the situation uh and 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 that could be the case could be dealing um again uh you know i kind of get like you know that that capricorn energy uh, or, you know, it could be dealing with also in areas as well, but for some reason I'm feeling both of those right with that, that card there. So, you know, so that, that kind of type of energy, but really strong and solid in terms of moving forward and, you know, developing some sort of structure. And this might have to do in a relationship, a partnership of anything of the sort, but that's what I see here. So your feelings are about you're being more controlled, more structured in terms of your feelings. Interesting. And moving, um, you know, um, kind of slower in, as it pertains to that. What else? Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense because I add another card to when I get the Four of Swords. Uh, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy. This is about resting and asking for guidance. So this, what it looks like is you're moving slow and steady because you're asking, you're actually needing the guidance here. And in, in this, this sword is not up or down. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's horizontal. So it's about, it's neutral. It's not knowing which way to go next and asking for guidance to get the confidence to move forward. But for whatever, what, you know, the reason I really feel that you need your rest right now and you're kind of uh, re-energizing yourself to kind of move forward in that next step. And, and this could be you know, your energy levels at this particular time. Um, let's see what else uh, wants to come out for you here. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, a, a reaction. This could have been a reaction to you're getting rest from a, rela a relationship or situation, something of which that maybe kind of made you take a step back, right? It, it kind of, uh, kind of did that, you know, uh, kind of have that type of feeling to it. You know what I mean, guys? And it, it could have had to do with love and something that was wanting to bloom. And there's some sort of sadness as it relates to that, right? And so now it's about kind of, you know, getting your, uh, you know, kind of, you no know, wonder you're taking a little bit more solid structure and moving slow in terms of your feelings and asking for guidance here. Uh, that's exactly what I see. And it could be in this relationship or in this situation, but that's your feelings right now. Uh, let me see if anything else wants to come out. Yeah, <laughs> this is reminding you to love yourself first. That always comes first, Capricorn. So really love yourself first and just fill your cup up, right? And so that'll allow you to uh, move forward. But I think that you just kind of really need to recalibrate a little bit, uh, re-energize your, 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 yourself, uh, feeding, uh, you know, drinking lots of water, um, you know, uh, eating good food and just really taking good care of yourself and getting the rest that you need, uh, as well as maybe perhaps some of you getting some exercise, but it's, it's talking about loving yourself first. Um, let's see what else wants to come out. What are the obstacles in this relationship or situation uh, from your standpoint? Let's see what this is. Okay. What is it? The obstacles is to become lovers. <laughs> wow. The obstacles is to come together and, and just, you know, share the love. Uh, could have Leo in the chart too, but I really think this is a, this is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces type energy. This is two people coming together and expressing love, right? That's destined. And and so I really feel that the uh, obstacle is the fact that you're probably social distancing, perhaps for many of you, obviously, uh, our world is in that, but it's, it's maybe the expression of love, two people expressing love to each other. Maybe that has been some sort 
sort of obstacle in some way to get two people to come together because you know that there's love here, right? And that's that's interesting. Uh, there's been a blockage towards that. So there's been a lot of going within Major Arcana card, the uh, hangman. This is about getting perspective as it relates to a love situation. So no wonder you're going slower, okay? Makes very good sense here. Makes very good sense. But you're in good vibrations and things are changing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I get the hangman. And it could have to do with someone, uh, you know, again, this is someone that's uh, basking in their wealth and all the hard work that they put into something. This is the nines and nines are all about, you know, coming to fruition. So this is gratitude, love luxury you know being at that mode right now and this is um this is uh it could be the person this could be you taking on that energy because it is an earth energy um or it could be that other person uh that might have some earth energy in them as well but it's the coming together but i i really think that maybe you you're just really kind of focusing on what you've worked so hard for that's now coming to fruition and now the only thing that you're missing is this love and is kind of getting a different perspective on things because of this is done with now you know it's kind of like maybe you you've garnered a contract of some sort and then now you can focus on love and have a different perspective on love okay um and that's what i see here anything else that wants to come through for you here uh, anything else uh let's see here Let's pull the journey cards and see what else in terms of obstacles. Let's see here. This wants you to begin now. It wants you to take the first step in moving on your path right now. And it doesn't want you to hold back. Uh, it would be an obstacle to hold back. And it does want you to begin now. And it could be as it pertains to a love interest. It's time to move forward on this is what this is saying. Uh, it, it's coming to begin the journey. And your journey does begin now. Um, it's, it's really beautiful. But that's what I see there, right? And, um, and uh, what this is also talking about is that the solitude has really helped serve you. Your solitude here is, is, uh, has given you the peace that you needed so you can get the enlightenment coming through, right? And just really is what you needed to do. Kind of get into your own sanctuary and, uh, uh, and then to gear up for the begin now, right? All right, so let's take a look at this other person on the other side and see what's coming through on them, Capricorn. Let's see what's there. Okay, here it is. Temperance. They're just balancing their emotions right now. Major arcana cards. So in this relationship or situation, they could be going through uh, just the balancing of emotions. Uh, you know, leveling things out, uh, balancing out uh, their own life uh, in terms of, you know, whatever that is. And yeah, it's like the, the balancing is going to lead them to calmer waters. Could be doing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy. Uh, and again, you might resonate with one side more than the other. So, you know, just note that I'll be more focusing with you on this side and the other person over here. But yeah, what I see is they're current, they're moving to calmer waters. So they're balancing themselves out, their, themselves out to get to the calmer waters because they know it's in their best interest to do so. Uh, and what else wants to come through? Yeah, it leads to emotional fulfillment. It leads them to a point they really feel good. This, you guys, I got to tell you, it, it, it could be some sort of divine timing here is what I'm getting a, a uh, I'm getting an inkling of here. Okay, we'll, we'll continue this, but I, it's emotional fulfillment, intimacy, compassion, uh, an opportunity from the universe. So it's, it's kind of divinely guided from the universe, you know, in this process. But that's where I feel that they, where they're at right now. Um, now, if we didn't already cover their feelings with the Ace of Cups, uh, that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type energy. Uh, I, but I really feel that they're taking on that energy or they might have that in their chart um, or you. But let's see what their feelings are. Yeah, they're ready to deliver a message of love. They love you. And it could be a new start, right? And brand, brand new beginning. And um, again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type energy. And getting the confidence to move forward and take that next step. It might be small, but they're definitely willing to move forward in that. So that's... they they love you. Okay. They love you. And that's what I see here. They truly do. Okay. And I'm going to pull two cards because I want to clarify this. That's what I thought. Okay. Interesting. So, um, what I get here, the next card that I got was the death card. And the card after that, that I got was the ace was the page of pentacles. We got the page of cups and then we got the page of pentacles. So, it's like, it's almost as if that something had to be put to an end to have a new beginning. And it's almost what's interesting is like, maybe perhaps in this relationship or situation, that it was something that had to start, stop, start kind of thing. Now, note your comments below if that's the case, but I kind of felt that a little bit. There's love here, but it was kind of got off to a bad start and then it ended. And this is about manifestation and inspiration in terms of moving forward. So now I think you're the, the, the sky is a lot clearer. You see kind of like, um, you know, they had a little bit of confidence and, and, you know, kind of here's my cup. And like, it just kind of didn't work out. And it's kind of like, boom, here's my cup. 
I am, and really, this is the yellow is the solar plexus, and the green is the heart chakra. You know, and and, and that's really being grounded. That that come kind of that red color is like you know, being really grounded in the the root chakra. This is, this is saying this is now the offer. This is kind of moving forward in that, but it's it's kind of like that's kind of how I was feeling how I read these cards and how they came out. So this is inspiration, and this is manifestation, like coming to fruition, and a lot more confidence about it too. You know, it's a lot more brighter. This is like kind of a little of a stop start kind of thing and then moving forward but this needed to happen for this to come through so i'm just saying for you guys it's kind of interesting but that's what i feel that's coming through and a lot more confidence and brightness that you know in terms of moving forward right so that's what their feelings are uh, so that's interesting what are their obstacles and blocks let's see what that is Ace of Wands, okay, so that's actually not seeing the opportunity from the universe that's coming through. Uh, the Aces, you know, the Wands are all about inspiration and creativity. And it's interesting because this other person got brilliance over here, you know, right? And they have the begin now, so it's kind of like you've got some beginnings here too. And I really feel that it's kind of mimicking each other a little bit. But the Ace of Wands, my gosh, I mean, with all of these brand new beginnings, I mean, geez, guys, uh, Ace of Wands, a great opportunity from the universe. Uh, so yeah, new uh, you know creation, inspiration. Maybe you're working together on something. Uh, yeah, he's kind of like a, the end of doing everything. Uh, there's, it's like coming, whatever has, has, it's like no more working alone. It's like letting the universe work with you. It's like this is done with it. It came to a completion. There's a brand new start. Brand new start here. A lot of fire energy, guys. A lot of fire. Maybe dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius type energy. Um, but yeah, a, a new start from uh, something that's coming to an end. Yeah, and, and this person had to take some sort of retreat from this situation. And their obstacle is that they won't take the retreat. Their obstacle is that they, they're doing everything themselves and not focus on what the universe is offering this brand new beginning. So this is about embracing a brand new beginning in this relationship or situation. And this is about think things through. And it's really interesting because, you know, this other person on this other side had the same thing, moving slow, right? Slow, solid you know, offer coming through. But the, this is reminding them to think things through. Um, what is um, your uh, best approach? What is your best approach, Capricorn, in this relationship or situation? Let's see what that is. What is it? Okay, we've got this seven of pentacles. Okay, sevens are about having faith that whatever you're putting work through are on into in a love relationship, a situation, you know, person, place, or thing that it's going to reap rewards. But you're taking a second look at it right here. Okay, uh, and that's what I see here. So very interesting. It's a very it's about profit. It's about uh, your vision of how you want things to turn out to be about the investment of time, money, you know, money and effort that you're putting into this, you know, person, place or thing. And this is saying is that you're stopping for a moment and saying kind of reflecting first. OK, let's see what else wants to come after that. Yeah. And then I get the King of Swords. So this is about, you know, being very intellectual about this. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy, cutting something out that if it doesn't lead to profit, doesn't lead to a good investment, that it's time to cut it out. Uh, in a relationship or situation. But I really feel the best approach in moving forward is cutting out what's not going to reap rewards in your profit, investment, and love. So that's what I'm feeling for you right now. That's kind of like your best way to move forward. Um, let's pull out any other cards that are going to help you. Um, let's see here. I think I want to pull these. Let's see what the moon cards have to say. Yeah, best way to best best approach to moving forward is you kind of a little bit more of intellect is coming through here. It wants you to step out of your comfort zone as well. So that's what's coming into play too. Kind of stretch things out a little bit more, you know, go, you know, step out a little bit further than maybe that you normally had done. It's really centering around like that that north star. It's it's so beautiful. And of course it talks about the north node, but um, you know, it's 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 beautiful and that's what's coming through in this cards here. So really step out of your comfort zone is really going to help in terms of your best approach and confidence is going to be the key to success for you okay very beautiful so have the confidence in what you do Capricorn because this is going to be great and it's going to take a little bit of stepping out of your norm uh, but this is saying on the other side of that is a lot more happiness so definitely do that what is the potential future in this relationship or situation what is that okay let's see what that is Ah, something that makes you feel kind of, uh, this is really innocent. And this is very considerate and polite and loving. Um, we've got the uh, six of cups and the sixes are all about growth, right? And this is about, you know, nostalgia, something that reminds you of something. Um, it could be someone from the past. 
uh, says my roommate's dog. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, that's what it's talking about. So it could be something from the past. And it's a six, which means that you've grown a lot from that too. Okay, you've grown a lot from that. So it's a six of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Let's see what else wants to come through here. Yeah, and this is about, you know, don't focus on what didn't work. Focus on the cups that are filled behind you. Don't uh, have the dark perspective. Focus on the light behind you, okay? And that's what it wants to let you know because you haven't played out your full hand here. You're only focusing on your perspective is on what's lost. The perspective is not on what's uh, what you can use, to, what your gain is here because you still have two more here. So um, it is, it's almost like... Um, it's almost as if that something from someone from the past of something that maybe didn't work out. Uh, uh, it's just saying that uh, it's, let me pull one more card just to see. Yeah, this is about having the strength to look at things a little bit differently. This is um, really about um, overcoming a situation, you know, a perspective and having the strength to overcome a particular perspective in a relationship or situation could be a mindset that perhaps that happened from childhood. But this is saying is that having the strength to be able to overcome that, you know, she's petting the line, the line is succumbing to her. Uh, and this is all about just overcoming this type of perspective and this type of thinking here. And that's what this is saying. So, so that's what's coming out. How interesting that's the outcome. So having the strength, let me see what else wants to come out here. What is it specifically in terms of this outcome uh, and the potential future? Having the strength to overcome that of which, uh, yeah, this is about moving forward. The universe wants you to move forward. It's put, the universe is giving you an opportunity to push forward. It wants you to move forward and it's giving you momentum and the strength to look at things differently and not to let anything, you know, that, um, you know, the, 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 the wants you to bring out this beautiful nostalgia. Um, and, and, and they could be, like I said, this is about consideration and this is about love. So I really feel that, that, that there is an opportunity perhaps from someone from the past guys, it could be, let me see here. Okay, here it is. It's fragments from the past. Okay, so it is about uh, honoring the nostalgia from the childhood and knowing that you don't have to carry this with you moving forward in your relationships, whatever that is. It wants you to choose to let go of the fragments of what didn't work in your childhood, in your love life, in your you know life overall, and start looking at the things more positively. Things are full and that you've got the strength to do that and that the universe is helping you, okay? It wants to give you that extra push, okay, beyond this, all right? Giving you that energy. Uh, that orange energy is about being energized and moving forward, and that's what this is saying. You're looking at it at a different perspective. You see the third eye in her hand, and this is saying no longer you have to be a afraid about it, you can use your third eye and help that with the fragments of the past to, to push through that and fly right through it because the universe has got your back, right? And helping you. Okay. So that's what I see. Let's see if anything else wants to come through here. Interesting. So you've got a new opportunity and so does this other person on the other side as well. Make no judgments about a relationship or situation, okay? So don't color in something based upon your own filters and your own experience that it's not really the case, okay? It's about, you know, really, you know, making no judgments and getting the facts in this relationship or situation. And, and uh, this is about uh, seek the hidden treasure within you, okay? Very, very beautiful because you're such a gem and this wants to remind you of that. Yeah. So seek the hidden treasure. And what is the universe? What advice does the universe want to give you in this? What advice does the universe give you in this relationship or situation? Let's see what this is. What is that? Okay, here it is. What is it? <laughs> love is the reason. Wow. Okay. I didn't want to, you never know where things would go to, but the universe wants you to know that love is a reason. And it, what this talks about, and I'll read it, each per person in your life is there for a reason. And the reason always has something to do with love. And it says with love, like me, the universe. So the reason is love. Uh, you know, the seek the hidden treasure in you is the love in you, right? Make no judgments, focus on love in the relationship or situation, okay? Anything else that the universe wants to give you in terms of advice? Here it is. What is it? Change is always good. Okay, so it could be a change in a relationship or situation or a change of the mindset is what really kept coming through for the most part. So for some of you, that could very much well be. And this talks about actually the only effective way of changing another person is changing yourself. Works every time 
guaranteed. All right. And, and it's basically saying, though I'm kind of partial to the way you are right right now, uh, it says, uh, you know, with love, tally ho, the universe. So it really focuses on the only, you can't change another person. You can only change yourself. And you are changing yourself uh, by focusing on integrating the fragments of the past, moving forward outside of the comfort zone, and then, you know, loving yourself, right? And knowing that, you know, making no judgments and love is the very, very reason. Uh, and uh, this is beautiful. This is interesting, guys. Well, I hope this resonated in some way, shape, or form. Please note your comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the second half of May. And until then, namaste.